Unfortunately, the word budget has a negative connotation. When it comes down to it, a budget is nothing more than a financial plan. Budgeting entails planning your spending before the month begins. Unfortunately, many people see a budget as a constraint that prevents them from pursuing their goals. However, nothing could be further from the truth. A budget does not limit your freedom, rather, it enhances it. It's all about being deliberate about where your money goes. Here are seven tips that might help you in your journey. Number one, before the month begins, reduce your budget to zero. This means you're making a plan and giving each dollar a name before the month even begins. A zero-based budget is what it's called. That isn't to say you have no money in your bank account. It simply means that your income minus all of your outgoings equals zero. Number two, keep in mind that each month is unique. You'll need to budget for things like back-to-school supplies and routine car maintenance for some months. You'll be saving for vacations, birthdays, and holidays during the other months. Whatever the occasion, make sure you account for those costs in your budget. Pull up your calendar while you're creating your budget to keep those special occasions from sneaking up on you. Hint, Christmas is back in December this year. As things change, make sure to adjust your budget each month. Make savings account that you can add to throughout the year. You will be stressed if you do not have a plan in place. And that detracts from the joy of giving and celebrating. That is something that no one wants. Number 3, first, go over the most important categories. Giving and saving come first, followed by the four walls of food, utilities, shelter, and transportation. After you've taken care of your basic needs, you can fill in the rest of your budget categories. Number 4, don't be afraid to make budget cuts. Prepare to be surprised. It might be time to make some financial sacrifices in your life. If money is tight right now, canceling cable, eating out less, and shopping at discount clothing and grocery stores are all quick ways to save money. Keep in mind that the budget cuts you're making are only temporary. You can always change your mind later. Number 5, schedule time and stick to it. Why not set specific dates for other expenses while you're making a budget a part of your monthly routine? To pay your bills, you could set up auto drafts from your checking account. You could also buy your groceries on a regular basis, such as once a week or twice a month. You eliminate a lot of stress and potential problems when you know what to expect and when to expect it. Number 6. Stay updated on your progress. It's critical to monitor your progress on a regular basis. If you're married, sit down and discuss your goals. If you don't have anyone to check in with, find someone who does. Discuss how budgeting is assisting you in moving forward. Consider how you can reduce your spending or even earn more money to help you achieve your goals faster. Also, don't forget to congratulate yourself on small victories. Number 7. Make room in your budget for a contingency. Set aside a small amount of money each month for unexpected expenses. In your budget, put this in the miscellaneous category. That way, if something unexpected arises, you'll be able to cover it without having to take money from somewhere else. Keep track of expenses that fall into this category frequently. You might even want to make them a permanent part of your budget in the future. Number 8. Cut your credit cards in half. If you're serious about sticking to a budget and getting out of debt, you'll have to give up your credit cards. Stop relying on them. Cut them up, shred them, or use them for a craft project. Get them out of your life in any way you can. There will be no more minimum payments to add to the budget, no more fees or high interest rates to deal with, and much less stress and worry. Use your debit card, or even cash, instead of credit cards, which you should discard like your ninth grade fling. What's the best thing about having a debit card? The money is taken directly from your bank account. There is no middleman who will charge you 15% interest. Number 9. Be happy with what you have and stop comparing yourself to others. You have a lot more than you think. Make no comparisons to other people's situations. Not only will comparison rob you of your joy, but it will also rob you of your income. Continue to move forward and do what is best for your family. Number 10. Set goals for yourself. Whether you're paying off student loans, putting money aside for an emergency, 
or paying off your mortgage, you need to remember why you're doing it. What motivates you to make these sacrifices? You'll be on your way to loving your life and your bank account once you realize the purpose of budgeting isn't to limit your freedom, but to give it to you. That's what we mean when we say winning with money.